This is a GPX under the cabinet LCD TV DVD player. Here's the model number. And the problem that they're reporting is the screen itself will come on and come off and it flickers on and off. So we're going to take it apart and see what happens. See what I can find. So this is the GPX screen and that's what the problem is. is I'm trying to see if we have a bad connection somewhere like a broken wire So you take the cover off, and this is kind of a, a messy setup. This is the power board here. <clears throat> With your audio video, this is your tuner board. This, I don't know what it is, so... I'm just going to make sure all the connections are set up right, and I'm looking for swelled up capacitors, and I'll just check in and show you what I find out. This step I want you to try is take your screws out the corner for your display, and what you're going to have to do is take a small, very small screwdriver. I start back here at the hinge and then work my way up. That's my uh, dog squeaking a toy. And what you're going to find is you're going to keep working all the way down because it has these little plastic tabs here that you have to push. You like your squeaker? Hmm? Yeah. So, anyway, I reseated all the connections. Here and here, oh, I didn't mess with that. I'm not not worried about that. I reseated this connection here. And I got to thinking, your power comes in over here. And this hinge gets used all the time. If you're moving it constantly, the wires that they have here is going to break. So, I'm looking at a few wires here that I'm kind of like, and what's the deal? Now we need to look back and see because you got a 12 volt line right here starting out and I don't know if 12 volt would be would be a black wire but there are two black wire so you need to make sure you grab the right one actually the black wire is the gray wire here which I'm thinking that's two wires in one I still very well can have an issue with the line not working right. It's 
So this has a plastic hinge and it moves back and forth. I'm not too impressed with the design that they have here. It's kind of cheap. I'm going to take this connector off. So I finally got it fixed, I believe. And this is what I'm going to tell you to do. The power supply board, you had this Y-shaped heat sink underneath there. You can take that heat sink off, and there's a chip there. It's got heat compound on it. I just took that off and reapplied new heat compound on it and resoldered it. I replaced two 2200 microfarad capacitors, 25 volt. They were fine before, but I just wanted to make sure. I reset all the connections on the power board, I reset the connection for the DVD connect the player, and your digital board over here, I took it out, and I believe I resoldered a couple points on it that needed to be resoldered, and put it back in, and it, it worked every time I turned it on and off and cycled it on and off as much as possible, so... Good luck, and I hope this video helped you out to at least to take it apart and attempt to fix it. Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.